Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general reading for my friends Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a smaller Celtic cross for this one. Let's find out together what's coming through for you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready to go. So, current situation, four of pentacles. The challenge, two of cups. Crowning energy, eight of swords. Core of the situation, page of pentacles. Past energies, the chariot. Future energies, possible outcome, the high priestess. The focus, page of swords. Bottom of the deck, we see the hanged man. Opening up to love again. This is the uh, choice of words that is coming to my mind right now. It's fair to say that uh, it's kind of the point. Maybe because previous experiences uh, were not a source of satisfaction. And so uh, deep introspection has taken place in favor, in favor of some of you guys. There is bravery uh, in the uh, decision to take a look at the things that may have gone in a different way compared with the expectations. Because we can truly uh, notice something that can be important for what comes next. And the young man goes along. I love to see the young man with the high priestess because it's a, an inner evaluation. And it can lead towards the opportunity to find precious answers. So, an uncomfortable position, we can agree, but there is a higher purpose that justifies the discomfort. The doubts come from the fact that some of you may be involved in a defensive mode, a protection mode, when it comes to uh, new interactions in the love arena. But with the two of cups in the challenge position, uh, this is an encouragement to trust the fact that you can truly find the person for you and so even taking your time there is the opportunity to interact with a person that can be able to earn your trust the four of pentacles in the current situation uh, tells us the story of a man that is keeping his pentacle extremely close to his chest heart chakra so matters of the heart are meaningful in this scenario because previous experiences may have taught him that um, this is the wisest thing to do so that he will not get hurt again and this is something that can be perfectly understandable but the challenge is about an energy that uh, can be considered quite the opposite because it is also about the matters of the heart but there is a great openness involved in the two of cups this is for me the chance to grow together with a special person soulmate energy we can agree deep love sincere feelings empathy fairness trust respect reciprocal support gaining strength from one another learning from each other all the finer qualities that we can think in favor of a partnership in the love arena this can be a, a legitimate desire for some of you and quite a challenge to fulfill there is bravery in doing that but the mind sometimes can 
play against us and in the crowning energy we see the eight of swords um, which is pretty much a, a prison of the mind that is self-inflicted because the lady is bounded in a rope blindfolded surrounded by swords which are thoughts but she feels like there is no way out um, only because she has no exact perception of a situation she needs to trust her intuition going with the water and that's the key to break free and also that's why i love to see the hanged man and the high priestess because these are powerful energies that can help a person to realize what truly matters and in the evaluation of a new connection of the interaction with a, a new person you will have the opportunity to pay attention to the factors that can be important for you in order to understand if they can be fulfilled positively past experiences may play a role kinda bringing in doubts when it comes to love connections but it doesn't um, if something didn't go uh, according to expectations it doesn't have to be the same for a new opportunity and so the page of pentacles is interesting in the uh, core of the situation because this energy can be channeled by some of your new persons this is a lovely approach a gesture that is uh, meaningful and able to earn the trust of some of you guys because these two pages are sincere and I feel that they can be channeled by someone around you someone that is looking at you in order to understand uh, when the right moment to approach you guys can come and as I usually say the pages can be awkward and goofy uh, because they need to go through the experiences in order to raise their level but at the same time they deserve attention because they may have something important to say to share or to offer the attention that will allow some of you to uh, recognize the meaningful token that a uh, person deserving of your trust will offer you come from the young man high priestess type of combination you will pay attention and you will understand when this token lovely sincere and trustworthy uh, will be offered the chariot guys in the past energies uh, position is about the decision that some of you have already embraced in favor of the movement forward within your journey despite the disappointments that may have taken place in the past you have powered through maybe you have embraced the professional side of your everyday life maybe you have um, granted in your own favor the chance to um, enrich your uh, cultural knowledge and so forth because this is a positive energy it is optimistic auspicious aimed at the future towards success and for me it gets also the feeling um, like wishing upon a star and allowing the star to guide the chariot to the place where it is supposed to be that's why there is a, a trust factor that needs to be fulfilled because in order to allow the chariot to uh, to go towards the promised land we need to be open and openness is a factor so that these four of pentacles can be a little bit uh, eased and if there is space for a lovely connection well amazing things can happen 
and if it seems a risk for some of you maybe it is a an opportunity that can bring in blessings the a priestess guys in the uh, future energies possible outcome this is a quiet energy but in this case is not about uh, any type of silent treatment that um, does not find a place in a scenario like this one this is an evaluation again an opportunity to seek enlightenment and bottom of the young man we see the eight of wands communication which i love because it goes with the page of swords the opportunity to interact with a person that you may realize going with the a priestess power um, can be the one able again to earn your trust which is crucial because then we can uh, truly open up and the a priestess we know that she speaks only the essentials even if she knows everything and she does that because she is in touch with the higher world the one that we cannot see but the one that we can feel if we pay the right amount of attention guys this is an encouragement for those of you that may have a person that is uh, testing the temperature in order to understand if they can interact with you they may be around you uh, looking for the right moment looking for the right opportunity the right occasion to share a token and if you are able to realize that this person is deserving of your trust you can achieve your clarity and you can allow the flow of communication to open up beautiful to see the eight of wands with the two of cups because cupid's arrows arrows of love basically we have the opportunity uh, to share meaningful words that can be uh, quite the chance to ignite a partnership that can be successful this is about inner courage basically so guys let's pull some oracle cards for guidance considering these energies let's see what we can discover all right these two definitely loneliness i know that i am never alone well, this is a reading for those of you that uh, may be single, but it's an encouragement to release the doubts that can be found in the Eight of Swords. What if I do not find the person for me? What if you find them? It's about shifting the mentality, going with the young man, shifting perspective. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. The past may have been a source of disappointments. We cannot change it, but we can learn from it. Kind of uh, being more wise. And uh, being able to uh, recognize if a person is deserving of our openness. Fear. Kind of the same thing. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Shifting perspective. Absolutely. When it comes to love partnerships, relationships, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. This can be a fair desire to pursue. Bottom of the deck, discipline. Paying attention, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. This can make all the difference in favor of you guys. Bottom of the deck, success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. The same success that is uh, related to the chariot. So basically, opening up can be the key to unlock quite a success in the love arena. An encouragement to be brave, this flow of energies. And you can most definitely be brave when the person for you will show you that they can earn your trust. And then things will pick up the pace. So guys... I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best, guys. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.